Today I have uh, a, a small group of uh, painters who paint in the field that I'm working with uh, in watercolour, in aquarelle, and uh, I've been showing them how to paint uh, one of the subjects from the Old Town and uh, we've just been out on location and uh, I'm preparing to show them a few more techniques on how to paint outdoor subject matter and uh, to use some of the techniques that I'm familiar with. So I turn it upside down and I think of the colour of the sky which was a soft grey. Um, you can make grey from um, lots of colours like this colour here I'm using cobalt blue and if I use cobalt I might put some burnt sienna with that and turn it a, a kind of a soft grey but if I'm painting this on I like to drop other colours in so if I'm wetting the paper and I'm using this sort of brush you know it's very soft here is very soft and uh, if I wet it with water I push with this part of the brush not the point so when I'm wetting down here it's not going to cause a really severe sharp line when I'm putting it on. So I wet the paper. So here's my colour mixed up a little bit and I drop it on the paper, like drop it on, let it happen, see like this. And the colour then floats in. It, it's, it's actually falling away from there because I'm not allowing it to go too, too much into the edge. So when it's doing that it's forming a nice deeper pattern towards the top. Aquarelle, well to me it's a, it's a medium uh, that creates atmosphere from atmosphere because it has a very specific uh, magic quality uh, when you use it. Um, the journey of working with a medium is as important as the result. So um, it's ex very expressive if you actually um, if you're angry, the result is angry. If you're uh, timid, it's timid. It shows exactly how you are feeling it, because you can't work over watercolour. You must make it fresh. It must look fresh. But when I'm looking back and I hold it back here, I not only get the reverse of what I'm seeing, but I'm getting distance as well. So I'm, I'm looking like, if I'm looking at a painting here, I'm sort of getting a better idea of how it appears further away from me. So, uh, because I want my paintings, I want my paintings to look as if uh, when I walk in the door, um, they speak to me, you know, they actually um, don't, I don't have to go right up to the painting to... Uh, look. So uh, it's part of the reason. I get, this, uh, I get asked this question far more than uh, what colour I use. <laughs> Normalt sett så jobbar jag ju så att eh, jag har tagit semester idag då för att kunna vara med. Det är ju en, en vardag här men eh, det känns hemskt kul att få möjlighet att få vara med och lära sig måla mm, utifrån David Taylors eh, kunnande då. När, eh, han kommer hit från Australien och har visning. Så var det en, en chans att få jobba lite med hans kunnande. Det Taylor är ju fascinerande med hans stadsmiljö tycker jag. Och hur han fångar människor, ögonblicksbilder känns det som. Det är människor som är på språng och... 
Han fångar eh, regniga dagar. Det, det, det känns nästan som ett fotografi, men ändå inte. Det, det är så mycket mer. make this look more like cards in shadow. I just run a bit of colour like that. Okay. Jag lärt mig att eh, måla människor på i stadsmiljöer och eh, det är väldigt roligt för det är ofta sånt som jag utlämnar normalt sett. Det är för svårt men eh, Hans människor är så, de ser så levande ut. Han fångar dem i, i deras rörelse och det är hemskt roligt att lära sig. I've been lucky enough to travel the world and uh, people seem to like what I'm doing. But the most important thing is that um, for me it's a, a personal journey. I, I would, irrespective of um, what happens, uh, I still love my work and love painting in, in the way I do. With watercolour, 